Jenna Digger grew up according to the principles taught by Jim Gothard's Institute for Basic Life Principles, IBLP. Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. For starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Jenna Digger has not tied the knot yet, in contrast to her other counting on Digger siblings. Was a pledge of solitary service anything she saw as an escape? Am I to believe that she will never settle down and have a family? Keep reading to find out what members of TLC think. A glimmer of joy for all. Upon its release this year, the Amazon Accusery's Duggar family secrets enlightened many. In reality, it brought attention to the fact that Jim Gothard's teachings include a vast rabbit hole. People also learned that females got the short end of the stick by watching TLC's Counting On and 19 Kids and Counting. The men do the heavy lifting, while the women procreate endlessly in order to expand their tribe. Jenna Digger's possible lesbian identity was speculated by many viewers of 19 Kids and Counting On. With a family as big as Jim Bob and Michelle's, the chances of such occurring are statistically feasible. Earlier reports of a romance, such as the one involving Lawson Bates, were unfounded. Rumor has it that she still lives in a little house or trailer at her parents' house, even after he married someone else. Michelle's eldest daughter may finally have the chance to go to college, according to a new report. However, it seemed improbable. The viewers of TLC are holding out hope that it may be real. Maybe she'll meet a guy there. Is she happy just helping out with the younger kids and seeming interested in gardening and interior design? Is it possible that she may make an effort to be unmarried forever? An op on Reddit posted a buck screenshot from Bill Gothard's The Vows of Single Service chapter. In reality, he admonished young women to keep moving forward until God brought them a suitable spouse. Make a vow of single service, committing a specific number of years to serve God while single. He really recommended. Could it have been Jenna Digger? She may have deliberated on the matter for some time if she did. Although there are those in the society who believe Jim Bob Digger's daughter is too old to be married. The true age is 33 or 34. Assuming Jenna Digger did really accept the pledge, there was no mention of never marrying in the book. Perhaps the females aren't mature enough to commit to a life of single service. She may have sworn an oath for 20 years. An observer of TLC expressed the opinion that a vow of singleness would really help excuse her desire to live an independent life. After that, another person chimed up with the following, in the hopes that one day Jenna can take the vow of leave me TF alone. Janet is 33 years old and will be 34 in January, reads another remark. Surprisingly, she may find herself dating, engaged, married, and pregnant within a year or two. How many guys would be interested in marrying a woman in her 30s? Almost every man in their faith probably would at an early age. Who knows? Maybe she'll meet someone who just had a wife die and has a whole bunch of babies waiting to be born. Obviously, if she's a covert lesbian, she may stay single forever. No one will ever know whether Jenna is a lesbian in secret or not. Is it possible that she took Jim Gothard's vow of single service to avoid marriage and having children? Did it really help her avoid her dad's wish for further grandkids? Could she be nearing the end of her commitment term if she accepted the vow of single service? Leave a comment with your ideas and be sure to check back for all the latest Digger news.